Why is the modern man so weird? He's standing over there just cringing at himself. He's reminded of his past failures. He's always caught up in negative thoughts about himself because he always, because he can't forgive himself. He cannot forgive himself and no one else does. No one else has ever said, I forgive you for this. And therefore he's thinking about it every single day, minute after minute, hour after hour. It makes him depressive. The caveman. The caveman is never reminded of this. As soon as he does it, he almost forgets about it unless he wants to think about it. He's completely mindful. He is not in the past moment or in the future moment. He is in the present moment. He is meditating 24 hours a day. He even meditates in his sleep. <laughs> the caveman acts with bravery because he knows that if he does something bad, Jesus will forgive him. The difference between the caveman and the modern man is Jesus. All of us have experiences in the past that we want to get rid of. All of us have done things that we cringe at. I'm going to tell you a quote. I'm, to, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a quick story about my sort of worst experience. So with my ex-girlfriend, I once was at a party and it was like a small party with like four people or something we did uh like a hollywood uh not 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 a, not a hollywood like a like a halloween uh movie watch thing at the house of my uh girlfriend's uh best friend and i was sitting there and the guy there the guy the 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 boyfriend of my girlfriend's uh best friend was saying to me hey do you want a little bit of vodka? And I, and I thought to myself, man, I'm so strict with everything. This was like two years ago. And I had already started self-improvement. And I thought to myself, yeah, why not? <laughs> and then I drank a little bit and I completely wasn't used to it. I was drunk maybe once in my life. And yeah, I just, I, I sat there and we were asking ourselves like questions like, have you ever... Um, would you ever some something like that? And I was laughing at one of the questions and I was laughing so bad that I basically like vomited <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and it was, I was so ashamed of that. Like you, you cannot imagine. And as if it wasn't enough, like I was getting like clothes from my, from my girlfriend's best friend. And then I went like an hour or two hours later after, after we had cleaned up everything, I went to the toilet and let me tell you, I ripped the loudest fart in history. <laughs> and I was, and I was so like, what the fuck? Because of that, that I loud, that I out loud said like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the the bathroom was like directly uh near the, the 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 room where everyone else was sitting like my girlfriend her best friend the boyfriend of her and i walk in the room completely ashamed of myself everyone knew <laughs> what had happened <laughs> and i just sat there quietly like like usually i was quite touchy with my with my girlfriend and i was just sitting there like <laughs> ashamed of myself and like just just reminding myself um used to give me like a shock and i used to like wanting to avoid like right here like everything of me just cramping in like like just the way i was sitting there on that evening just just like this i want to be i want to like cringe and i'm i'm like shaking every time i I used to recall this, but I finally found the way out of this and I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about this for months. And I think you can already guess why I'm not thinking about it. I have not been thinking about this event and I've not been cringing about this event since I have turned to Christ. Because the reason you are reminded of this, the reason you're reminded of your past experiences is because literally the devil, Satan, 
wants to get your soul. And we see this with so many men out there. Depression is nothing but this. Depression is nothing but being reminded of your past as a bad experience. And thinking to yourself, well, I've done this wrong. I've done that wrong. Why would I do this correct in the future? So you just don't do it at all. And you stop doing things and then you become depressive and energyless. This is the way men get destroyed. You get destroyed because the devil wants to destroy you. It's just like that, that men are reminded of their past. And there is a very good image that I've maybe had on screen by this point. And the way I think this works is the devil sees a man who is good. A man who's going to the gym, a man who's doing all these things, or a man who's about to do these things. And then he just shows them, hey, this is what you did. This is what you said. Do you really want to go to the gym? And I think the best way to avoid this, to finally kind of conclude what I've been saying, the best way to get this away is prayer and is praying God, I want you in my heart. I want you to be with me. I want you to drive out the devil from my life. Because if the devil is still in your life with instant gratification activities and with demonic stuff, the chance is very high that he's going to remind you off of everything because the devil is the deceiver. He deceives you into believing lies. So what do I think about how do you lose your thoughts of your past. You turn to God, you repent. Because God had promised in the Old Testament that Satan will be destroyed. 